Okay. Hi, folks. This is an Oliver update. Oliver had his first haircut yesterday. Doesn't he look handsome? He looks like a totally different dog. <sighs> Oliver is going to be going to the vet next Wednesday for uh, neutering. So I wanted to have them nice and clean and a little bit shorter because they shave their belly pretty good. So it's helpful for the vet to do the a little shaving they have to do. His nails have been clipped, but they're very sharp because they've just been clipped. Say hello. <laughs> he hates to do anything that I want him to do. Oliver, Oliver. He is such a terror. He really is crazy with us. He's crazy, crazy, crazy. So I was a little afraid. He's five months old now, and that's kind of late for bringing him to the Goomba. But I know the Goomba because she's always done the other two dogs. So I had a talk with her, and I said, Sam, can you do a crazy puppy? Do you have a muzzle? Because he bites. Well, look, at he's getting better. He's hardly biting now. He just wants to get down. All he wants to do is run around. So surprise upon surprise, it turns out, Hmm, I'm close. He never budged. She said he was absolutely perfect. She says, I'll take those all day long. What he was doing was laying there, just laying there. She said she'd lift his leg and just do what she had to do. So he did well. It is a very hot, humid Wednesday here. And um, I just took a shower. That doesn't seem to help. Do you get like really hot when you get out of the shower? It doesn't make sense to me. Okay, here we are. 52 weeks of dishcloth, so keep it. Oh, look at this. I have my wrong glasses, my very old glasses on. I just pick up whichever glasses are close to me. A lot of times I'll use these in case I'm like in bed reading or falling asleep watching television and I'll sleep with these on. Must have had them on all night. Week 23. Yes. Week 23 in the 26, no, the 52, 26 is our halfway point. Um, in the 52 weeks of dishcloths, I know. I'm hoping it's not getting real boring. I'm enjoying it because I don't really have my knitting mojo going really well. I don't know if it's the time of year, the year, whatever. I am really trying to declutter and maybe that's why I'm not starting up a lot of new projects. I'm trying to finish old stuff or trying to get a small, you know, small things to do. But I haven't started anything new, even though I thought I would. I'm using this week as tidy up. Pat Sloan, the quilter, usually has a day or two in her month. She give, puts out a calendar every month and she has days designated as tidy up days. Not major overhauling, just tidy up. Like if I showed you this desk, it's terrible. And the reason it's terrible is because I was stamping, because we have a lot of birthdays in June and I was making some birthday cards. Segue into last Friday when my friend Robin and I went to um, the Big E, Eastern, Ex Eastern Exposition, is that what it is? Eastern States Exposition, the Big E in West Springfield, Mass, for StamperCon. Um, it wasn't as big an exposition as I have been to in past years, but it was good. There was a lot of quality stuff. I bought some stuff. That wasn't a real good idea. I wonder if I have any of the stuff I bought. Might be right by because I was I was stamping those cards. This is nuts. That's why I'm due for uh, tidying up. I actually uh, from one of the vendors, I thought I bought uh, six, seven stamps. I came home with only six. I looked at the slip because he mailed me my slip, and I'd only paid for six. So what he did was he kept one down on the table, which was disappointing. However, however, I managed. Oh, there they are. I found them by doing that. Um, I managed to find them online, and I can just order the one I wanted online. He was the um, Commons Veranda was his card. They're from the Great Northwest, Spokane, Washington. This guy was really cool, and he had the coolest of stamps. So look at, he's got an art card there. Those are the kind of things I like. And I got... I don't know if you can tell because it's red rubber, but can you see that he's a gnome with antlers for um, reindeer antlers and a Santa Claus hat, red rubber stamp. You got to kind of imagine it turn around. This is for all my knitting friends. I don't know if you're even going to be able to see this. Let me see. Goes 
this way. It's like a background stamp of all tiny sheep. I really like that one. They had a big one like that too, but I opted not to get that one. Um, and I got a clown that looks a lot like the clown in It, who is Penny, Penny Whistle? No, Penny, Pennywise? Pennywise, I think. Gotta ask Hunter. I'm picking Hunter up today after school, so I'll definitely show him that. Then do you remember that Birch lady? Is it Linda Birch? And she did cat quilts and cat bags. Well, these are going to be fun to color. I got those two. I do not need stamps. I got some other stamps too. But those are just the ones I got from the guy in Spokane. Spokane? Spokane? Is that how it's said? Uh, so it was a nice thing Friday. Saturday was super busy. Sunday I went to Trinity Rep to see the last show of this season. And it was called Fairview. And it was quite interesting, and I'm still digesting it and trying to de sense, uh, decipher it, <laughs> understand it. Yeah, I'm going online and reading um, comments and, and reading um, different people who are providing a synopsis of it. I had my ideas. At one point, a lady fainted. I thought she died, and she was hearing things after death. That's how far off base I was. But I don't want to give you um, give it away in case anyone decides to go. It was a Pulitzer Prize winner in 2019. So I got to understand that, right? So update. Oliver got his hair, first haircut yesterday. That was um, Hunter. I tried to bring Hunter for a haircut um, Memorial Day weekend and they were closed, you know, because the website said open. So <laughs> anyway, um, but he was glad that he uh, he dodged that bullet. He does, when we have time together, he'd rather not spend it having a haircut. He'd rather be crafting or going someplace or cooking or doing something or even watching videos of Halloween things. So we dodged that, but I, I'm, he gets out early dismissal today, two o'clock. I'm picking him up. He's going to get his hair cut because he graduates kindergarten on Friday and they're having a Zoom and I would be able to watch the Zoom. However, I can't because Friday I have, what's it? Oh, endoscopy slash colonoscopy tests. So tomorrow I'm going to be busy preparing for that. And then Friday, get it done. I'm telling you. The, the medical appointments, I'm going crazy. Well, I also take care of medical appointments for two dogs, my husband, my father, myself. And then sometimes when Allison has medical appointments, I have Hunter. So it's like I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of medical appointments. Um, it seems like they're never going to end. I think I'm going to be all done. I just had my um, primary care appointment last Thursday. So... After that, and after my test on Friday, and after my dermatologist appointment on the last day of June, I'm going to be done for a little while. I am so excited because I don't think I have to do anything until September with a dental and eye appointment. I hope. I hope that's the way it goes. We'll see. You never know. You never know. And this Sunday will be busy because it's a sit and sew week. So... I'm just going to tidy up over this week and not try to start any projects. I'm still doing old projects. Last week I talked about maybe starting the, the summer 2023 mystery um, quilt with Editor Sitar. And um, I watched her video this morning and last Wednesday and it looks very interesting. But I'd have to go out and get some fabric because I went through my stash. See, that's the only reason I would do... Um, new projects now is to use stash that I've bought in the past but I didn't have exactly what I need and it would require that I go out and buy some more and twice I almost went and twice I stopped myself um, I talked about a string bean quilt that was black and white that I had started previously and the squares the blocks were 15 15 and a half by 12 and a half 15 by 12 finished and um, it just they didn't come out right I messed up on a couple of the measurements. I put it all aside. I had all the blocks done. I had the sashing. Didn't require sashing, but I had made some. But it was bugging me that it was another thing I'm putting in a bin that I may or may not get to. So the other day, 
I was watching something and um, I decided to get my seam ripper out and I took apart all 30 blocks. I took them all apart and now I have two and a half inch lengths and I decided instead of making them oblong blocks, I'm making square blocks that are about 12 by 12. That way I was able to repair my errors. And I'm not, I'm not using the exact same black and white, um, I don't even want to call it configuration that I had before. I'm going to be more strict. And then I'm going to use colors, some colored um, cornerstones in this one uh, that came with the black and white fabric. Well, anyway, I've been working on that. So it's been a discombobulated month so far. And we're only up to day eight. Okay, today's block. No, excuse me, today's dish block is called the double bumps. Well, it's a double bump dishcloth pattern or the double bump scarf because it's the same pattern. And if you would like to make, not, I, I don't, well, women can wear this kind of a scarf, but if you have a guy in your life that just wants a nice woolen winter scarf, this is a cool pattern. Here's the pattern. It's a double bump. That's what she calls it. This is done by Missy Angus, who's also known as my jewel thief. And um, there's the pattern. That might have been, I don't know if that's the right side or the wrong side. I don't think it matters, but I think this, I think this is the right side. Both sides look great. Very easy to follow. Very nice. Basically, it's four rows that you repeat 12 times and you're done. It's only a cast on of 37 stitches. Um, any combination of stitches, three plus one. So you can make the, the scarf. They even have fewer, fewer stitches than this for the scarf, 31. So, you know, guy's scarf. Women like flouncy, big, eye full scarves that you can, you know, fluff up and use but men kind of like the simple thing and um all the rows are it's a free pattern i'm going to link to down in the description box and it's um first row is purl two knit one purl two knit one purl two knit one second row is knit two purl one knit two purl one all the way across then row three is knit across and row four is purl across you repeat those four rows 12 more times, so it's actually 13 rows. And then you just do the, um, hmm, what did we, what did we do? Oh, you bind off in purl. I think it's the first time I ever bound off in purl. Bind off row is the right side face, with the right side facing you. You stop at row three of the pattern and it doesn't really it says really doesn't matter what row you bind off but after many tests the pattern seems to look best with this bind off so pearl bind off nice good show where's the bind? i think this is the bind off. Uh, yeah this might be no it would look like a pearl stitch well from this point i can't tell so it's called a double bump scarf today's scarf I am, um, I can't even believe how warm it is out already. I cannot take the heat. I am going to sign off because I have some business to take care of with my, I keep calling it my new Bernina. It's almost a year old and the extension table broke. <laughs> I'm telling you, this machine, the only reason I'm keeping it is because it's so good. I love the way. I love using it, but there are problems with it all along the way. I joined a Facebook Bernina 790 group. Bernina 790 Facebook group. And they are talking about all the things. And sure enough, the I it happened to me and it happened to somebody else on the same day. I said, what the heck's wrong with this? It's always been a problem to slide the um, extension table on and off. It's the one thing I didn't like about it. It's just plastic. And, it, and there's this little tiny, tiny piece of plastic that broke off and makes it now wobbly. That'll drive me crazy. 
However, there's a, so, uh, a plexiglass so steady table that's available for it. They have it in a smaller size and a larger size. So I'm going to go and measure my, my desks, my tables, my cabinets, wherever I decide that this thing's going to land. And I think I'm going to keep it on the Husky, Husky table I showed you before. So I got to do that and take care of that today until it's time to go get Hunter and get his hair cut. And then we'll hang out a while. So we got after today two more days of school and he'll have his first year of schooling kindergarten done i can't even believe how fast it went i'm sure as a student didn't go by fast for him but they pretty much went to school there were only a couple of remote days and the only reasons they were remote were usually teacher meetings they didn't really stay out for sickness um which is good knock on wood all right, have a great week. If it's time for a tidy up in your space, just do it because it really makes a difference. And um, I'll be talking to you next Wednesday. Thanks. See you later. Bye.